thing. I want to talk about the Supreme store that opened up recently in West Hollywood. It looks absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It's courtesy of the new Supreme store, which is now running on Shopify. Hallelujah. Um, no more splay, RIP splay, even a splay, you know, back in the days, the forum. If you know, you know, back in the day, the splay forum. I think that's more where I, where I might find out where um, Supreme originally made their sweats with that company. Was it Raining Champ? It might have been through that forum, actually, back in the day. Um, so big up the Splay forum and the guys over there for putting them together and whatnot. They did a good job, you know, beforehand. I'm not sure if so the rumor is true. I remember there was a rumor from back in the day that the people in Splay who actually built the Supreme site, they didn't take any money. They just did some deal where they took a percentage of online sales or something. You can only imagine how much money those guys made, man. Like, God damn, or something to do with that. I'm not sure if that's true. It might be a wife's tale, but regardless, um, big up them for what they did. But obviously, we're on to the next. And this store, this is obviously already opened. It says here, Supreme West Hollywood. On Thursday, February 16th, Supreme will reopen its Los Angeles store at a new location. The store is on 888. 01 Sunset Boulevard and of course you can see the times and dates here but the most important thing is the pictures because Supreme retail stores are always so nicely done the fact that they paint this entire store white is such a ballsy and risky move because you know you know this whole entire thing is going to be covered in spray paint sooner rather than later now I don't know if they're going to keep painting over it I don't know if they're going to specify certain walls can be painted on and sprayed and tagged but I have a feeling it's going to be covered in paint. Obviously, the, the start of it with the stairs is quite nice because you imagine someone's going to be able to film a video, a part in this where they maybe drop down from this section and come out through the door and grind some of these handrails or something or clear the entire stairs or clear the stairs and the pavement and hit the road. Who knows? But it looks kind of cool in that regard. And look at the hills there with the houses on top. It's a really nice location. Only from this angle. I'm not sure what it looks like overall. But it's funny there's a car park next to it. It kind of reminds me of that New York car park where there's a car, there was a car park across the road that kind of had the story thing you know what i'm talking about but anyway um yeah the store looks lovely <laughs> all white is a bit risky but the inside looks absolutely lovely with the bowl and um is it nate lauman i'm assuming insulation so maybe it's mark Gonzalez. not really too sure but either way i think there's some neck face art in there as well it looks like but it's just a beautiful retail store like supreme do a really good job of having that desirability online and somehow offline, which not a lot of brands have. I think a lot of brands kind of rely. I, I remember hearing, or oh, no, heard the founder of Aries basically talking in an interview with How Long Gone, speaking about how important it was for them to open a store because they feel like that's going to be the best way to tell the airy story and it's like yeah but you should also be able to tell it through the clothes online isn't it because everyone's basically on the internet uh, but i also understand how hard it is maybe for a brand like that where you're kind of multifaceted there's a lot of kind of layers to the stuff you put out you know some stuff kind of goes over people's heads it's kind of nice to get that store so you get a tactile feel of it and you can kind of circuit it all in from the incense to the music playing to the books that are on display to the people working there everything kind of ties into it so maybe that's important but i feel like supreme did a good job of doing it online and offline anyway like you you felt you like supreme had a like you know the kind of cool appeal and the wanting appeal from just seeing other skaters wear it you know you didn't have to skate just seeing them wear it, it kind of made you want to kind of wear it and sometimes even start skating which is absolutely hey crazy but yeah, overall, retail-wise, it absolutely looks impeccable. Very well done. I wonder who designed it interior-wise, but it looks always great. Very just easily done. Nice concrete, you know, shined, polished floors. A couple of rails on the side there. Some shelving with some T-shirts, which you're never meant to touch. <laughs> and then, of course, a wall with flipping skateboard decks and some massive speak. And one thing I always like about Supreme, they let the stores just blast the music like the music is like ear splittingly loud i remember that being the first thing i checked i kind of realized when i went to the the supreme store back in the day long time ago maybe 20, 2007 or something stupid like that in new york and that was six to kind of walk in and hear them playing flipping what's it called um what's his name him playing uh, black sabbath really flipping loud um, was really part of the experience I kind of made before in love with the brand but yeah it's just flipping amazing and I also love the little seating area here it's just one big concrete slab which I'm sure was made by somebody very cool and influential the mirrors are always lovely I feel like in there also it's very very underrated the cool mirrors that they have and yeah in general I like the space it looks absolutely amazing like I said I'm just not sure about the white all exterior because that's definitely going to get absolutely trod up and torn to pieces you would imagine you would imagine but <clears throat> moving on I quickly want to touch upon some of the stuff that I feel like I liked from the spring 2023 um, preview. 
that I'm obviously, you know, always flipping in touch with and kind of looking at and oogling and wanting to buy um, a few pieces here, which I've, you know, I bought maybe a couple already, but still wanted to quickly get, you know, let you know the bits and pieces that I saw from the preview that I thought really stood out for me. First things first is this jacket, this Supreme and Scott leather racer jacket of course the silver is a standout color for me personally especially you know the one featured on the model on the lookbook also makes it look absolutely amazing but regardless the jacket itself is absolutely lovely the shape of it is great i think one thing supreme don't get enough credit on is the cut of their jackets from the trapper trucker type jean jacket that they sell to the work jacket they do a really good job of getting the fit and the shape of the jackets great and i feel like their relationship with scott um, even though they obviously Scott have got like you know they got classic flipping shapes and jackets all over the place I feel like Supreme are still able to kind of customize the overall shape of them and make them slightly kind of too spec custom wise maybe you know the addition of this sort of like Wrangland sleeve on this is maybe something that they kind of you know maybe added they maybe maybe shorten the body maybe decided to go for a zip closure instead of a snap like those are little things that they do that are really 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 cool but I like this and it says here cowhide leather with satin lining and four zip closures double welt zip pockets at the lower pockets and debossed logo chest pocket as well oh that's what i love as well see not anything crazy a deboss logo there that's it on the chest pocket because that's one thing i'm annoyed about the modern day supreme now the logos and the branding is just so ott i think i'm just happy that there's not a massive supreme and on the back of this this is really 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 beautiful even the black is really nice can you see the embossing a lot on the black one let's see, let's see. the embossing and you, know, you can't really see it too tough on the black either it's really really subtly done actually let's zoom in here yeah you can't really see it too tough at all it's really subtly done and you'd imagine after a long time of wearing it that's the thing i love about this it's like it reminds me of that balenciaga blouson that that leather jacket that everyone's been wearing now i think Kanye obviously made it popular that kind of leather jacket it's really cool because number one the b on the chest is screen printed so over time that will wear out and kind of especially if you wear it every day like you're meant to wear it and kind of break it in and have and make it crease up and whatnot and live in it it will wear out and eventually that that white little B will fade out, but you still have the little markings of it before. But somebody with a discerning eye who knows what's up will be able to tell straight away that's Balenciaga. So I love that same thing about the Supreme jacket. Like it doesn't look like a regular Scott jacket. Someone will definitely know this is either a brand, either a brand, a collaboration or something really pricey. Do you know what I mean? Which is absolutely great because, you know, what else would you want to wear those clothes for? Then another one I really liked the look of was this Gore-Tex pack light, lightweight shell, which I said before, I think online somewhere, it kind of reminded me of like old school Hiroshi Fujiwara vibes. Some of the stuff he used to do collaborations. I forgot the, the snowboarding brand, but he used to do loads of collaborations with stuff like this when, you know, back then the the old man who like streetwear and Asian women and Asian food and, um, you know, who likes to play vinyl and loves flipping, um, you know, Eric Clapton, those type of dudes, right? Those like 50 plus guys. One thing that they love to do as an extracurricular activity is snowboard and skiing and shit. And um, they'd always wear these really expensive, high grade tech wear type of brands. And for whatever reason, you know, who actually really, really got into it. I think he snowboards really well also, don't get me wrong. But um, he used to always make these type of jackets. I feel like these sort of like polka dot design type of, you know, snowboardy type outwear type of jackets, which I really love the look of. So I think this looks absolutely brilliant, especially this sort of like rainbowish type of color. Um, Gore-Tex with tape seams and i also like the fact that the supreme logo is done the way it's done you got this label here that you can easily um unstitch if you wanted to which is something that a lot of people do they kind of debadge a lot of the clothing i think i've done that with a couple of backpacks i had like a i had like a um what's it called I have like a, it's something thieves, maybe it's a Supreme 12th or 11th, that unfortunately was fake, I didn't know it was fake when I bought it, but unfortunately it did turn out to be a fake, but I loved it anyway, but I didn't like the logo because it was just too big and broad, so I just took them off, um, and I kind of debatched a few other books, and sorry, a little, a little a few other um, little pouches and stuff that I have as well, because I just like the shape of them better, but I like that that logo could easily be debagged, if, sorry, it could easily be debadged, the addition of the hood is really brilliant, and also that little, sorry, let's get that, let's zoom out, so a little bit here, let's zoom out, and let's go back there, I like the logo here, it's been pixelated here towards the back of it as well, it's actually brilliant, oh, there's three logos, how many logos do you need, there's one in the back of the neck, I didn't clock that, oh, annoying, <laughs> see there's so many logos everywhere 
But anyway, this is what Supreme is now. Isn't it? You can't really complain too tough. But yeah, in the black, obviously, it comes in the way it comes in. But I think, obviously, that polka dot colorway is obviously the standout colorway in that one. And then another thing I really liked was a look at this Gore-Tex Leather 700 Fill Down Parker. It's a 700 down, you know, fill Parker that you would, I forgot what they originally called in New York, but they're a particular jacket that New York guys love. Um, but I've never seen it done in leather. They always kind of done class. I don't know what the material is on the outside. Maybe it's polyester, whatever it is, a shell, and then obviously a down on the inside. But to see it done in all leather, that's a floss. And I imagine it's going to be grand in terms of pricing. But I just love the look of it overall. And obviously the hood looks fucking brilliant. Again, Supreme don't get enough credit for the hoods and their jackets. They always fit amazing. Um, this jacket is one of the winners. Really calm winner. It's a Madras reversible windstopper puffer jacket. It reminds me instantly. I forgot what show it was, but do you remember that fashion show that Playboy Carty was performing at where he's like dancing on stage? He's dancing in the middle of the runway. Actually, let me see if I can get it up here. Let me see if I can get it up. It's a Playboy Carty runway. Um, let me see. He's on like a fashion runway. He's performing somewhere and he's like dancing and it, it kind of reminds me that jacket of that time. Well, well, I don't know what collection it was he was performing at. Okay, this is the one. Um, I don't know what collection it was. Don't get me wrong. And who it was for. Oh, it's V Files. Okay, it was V Files. Get up on the screen. So this was from V Files era. You know, Playboy Card when he used to wear Supreme, right? This is the era. Oh, was it the same oh shit, it was the same show that he did no way, was it the same show or am I bugging out? Because it's got a picture here of Young Fug when he got up and styled that guy in the middle of the show. I don't think it was the same show, but still, you've got this um amazing, amazing era. So that kind of that jacket with the flipping tart and madras kind of reminded me of that. I don't actually know where that jacket is actually from, to be completely honest, but um, that kind of reminded me of that kind of iconic picture. Let me see if I can get up again. So, yeah, that's what it sort of reminded me of. Obviously, I love it. And obviously, the blue on the inside is pretty decent as well if you're going to reverse it. But, of course, the, 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 the standout is definitely that kind of polka dot pattern color. And obviously, you've got black as well. That looks really nicely done. But, yeah, just great, isn't it? Look at those colors and the shape of these. So, just... This is one thing I, I I was saying before prior to Supreme that I've always thought would happen and it kind of has has been over time they've done so many collaborations with outwear brands and stuff and whatnot making jackets but I always felt like over time they'll slowly but surely start making their own because I remember James Jebby always saying in interviews that Supreme could collaborate with the best in class who's whatever sector they went to work in so if it was hiking boots or running shoes or sneakers or hats whatever whoever did the best version of that they will collaborate rather than try and make it themselves but obviously over time when you work with these companies you start to realize you know in your production methods and increasing you make more money you can maybe invest into making those things yourself so it's no surprise in recent years supreme make more in-house gore-tex jackets um you know uh what you call it puffer jackets in general than they did in the past so the need for collaborations to fill in those kind of holes is kind of dwindled over time which has been great to see i also like this which is kind of weird because i'm talking about the logos and whatnot but i just like the shape and the cut of it overall the supreme on the chest is so obnoxious personally for me but i still like something about it i think if i was 19 i definitely would wear it um this uh croc for this croc faux for um overcoat is also very 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 beautiful there's something that looks almost tom fordy about that of course there's kurt Cobain sweater it's definitely something that i would be wearing nice little cable knit little sweat there another little mesh striped shirt that i'm sure will be a lot of people will turn off at this this is a bit marmite i'm sure for some people but i absolutely love this a little bit of mesh a little bit of nipple poking through there on the chest as you're out there slipping on a couple of my ties and finger banging somebody at the bar i'm definitely game for that one patchwork short sleeve shirt as well I like the look of this also we're gonna quickly run through some so i don't waste so much time we've got cherry shirt i also like that like the look of that in terms of a short sleeve shirt this shirt i really like this crochet football jersey if I'm not mistaken, this is the first collection that Tremaine Emery from Denim Tears has been kind of involved with because now he's the what is he art director or creative director, one of them or Supreme now, um, which is obviously amazing to see. So bravo to him. She's somebody from a kind of you know basically making it from the ground up without being involved with the Supreme team in that regard. I know he's maybe associated with the family, but getting that job that way is really good because you know for the most part you hear a lot of people working Supreme are kind of you know people within the inside who kind of know them or work within the company already kind of get promoted up. See so someone from the external kind of team. I feel like it's pretty cool, even though he's got a long history with those guys in general it's just cool to see overall um i feel like this might be one of the first pieces i've seen that might be it feels like a touch of tremaine and dead in tears it's hard to really kind of you know pin him pigeonhole him really outside of the flipping um 
the reef pants or whatnot, but and the, the denim or whatnot. But I feel like this might be something that would this Tremaine would be involved in in designing this crochet top a little bit. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's other things also. I'm not too sure, but this feels like something that Tremaine might be involved in. If not, it's still nice. Um, you got this character soccer jersey as well that I like to look at with his anime eyes. I feel it's nice. This uh knit stripe tank, um, jack mesh top is lovely. I feel like very very well done. It kind of reminds me again of Supreme of Old that I fell in love with. Very subtle bit of branding and logoing here. If you know, you know type of thing. I love the look of that also. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I like this also. This rolling shirt, really nice. Loads of Asian influences dotted around the Supreme collection. Of course, the inside out uh, box logo hoodie is absolutely splendid for me personally. I love the look of this. The colors it comes in as well are really nice that olive um green type of color in the red are probably the standout ones for me personally but you know i'm sure most people are going to go with the flipping what you call it the white and gray the gray with the red box logo because a red box logo typical type of stuff that happens with that these work pants i think are really nice as well I'm sure most people won't be fans of them. I like this crochet hat that goes with the shirt, of course, because I'm a black guy, so I like to matchy match stuff. <laughs> I like these, um, what you call it? These what are they call the Gore-Tex patch light wet bonnie hats. These look really nice as well. Again, these hats for me personally, they're kind of like trucker hats in a little bit, oh, kind of like um, well, not trucker hats, kind of like bucket hats. Bucket hats for me, especially with my hair, my head shape. I always feel like I look like schoolboy Q, but I know I don't in real life, so it's probably you know I should miss that. This is a, definitely a piece that I feel like a lot of people are probably sleeping on. These Ebbett Fields um, six panel hats, again, for me, for my big head. These, you know, maybe in a five, seven and five and an eight. Seven and five, it's probably be my size, but I'd, I'd wear every single one. Obviously, I'd go with black or navy or pink, but every colorway would definitely be up there. The shape of them looks fantastic. Um, nice uh, fitted wool, amazing. Um, made exclusively for Supreme, so they're going to be buttery soft and whatnot to wear. So these are going to be really, really nice. I really like the look of those. These are another hats that I feel like I'm sorry another piece that I feel like Tremaine might have been involved in from Dead in Tears this is Lion of Judah six panel hat I feel this is really nicely done also but again my head's too big for these type of things I'd imagine maybe it's kind of a dad hat shape but I think these are really really nice these hats all the color all the colorways work really well there another hat that I like the look of is uh this uh which is the sex in heaven um shirt jacket of course sorry sorry hat trucker hat classic with the black and white and blue and white you know you like those this hosp i like the look of also i wonder what hosp stands for if anyone knows in the, in the comments let me know with the sup ny 23 on the back but all these colors look nice stand out for me probably be this red i remember seeing this guy i went to a club recently who kind of had a really nice red trucker hat on with a nice branding on it that kind of reminds you of this sort of like a vintage feel so it's red nice maybe that brown with the yellow is also is pretty decent and of course the black with the red is nice you've got another kind of mesh six panel hat altogether that could fit my cranium you know all these things will fit me because they've got what they call them is that like a high dome i think that's what they're called right because my head i think i need either six panels because obviously it makes it fit a little bit bigger i think and also the dome this bit from the, the from the top to the edge kind of needs to be high and i feel like supreme do a good job of doing that so they definitely sort of uh appeal to the big headed guys out there no pun intended this would be nice as well this nameplate uh mesh hat as well is also lovely that's amazing i love that that's absolutely gorgeous that's probably going to do numbers i reckon when it comes out people are going to be big fans of those oh that looks flipping gorgeous i love that and of course, you got this one too, Jonah Bark. I like the look of this also. That's a really lovely hat. Uh, I think all the, I can imagine some of the Red Scare girls might be wearing this, some of the Red Scare girlies. And have a good new rings, new era. I'm a big fan of also. The field backpack is gorgeous. Um, I, I was umming and ahhing on what to get, and I didn't. I took too long, and it got sold out online. I'm sure they're going to be available in store, but I'm not really too sure what color to go with. The olive green has all these little nice little drawings, illustrations all over them that kind of remind me of Mark Gonzalez. I'm assuming maybe he kind of sketched all over it, the Supreme and whatnot. Um, and then obviously the black with the logo and the red. I was thinking about getting the red one, but. You know, walking around with a red backpack is a little bit obnoxious, isn't it? I don't know, but I'm not sure what color to go with. But again, probably to be an in-store thing. This Supreme and Singing Machine uh, collab is absolutely beautiful. I definitely want this as well. This looks amazing. Bluetooth compatible karaoke machine with a built-in pitch tune and eight inch full range woofer and free Twitter for full range sound. Two microphones included, USB input and 25 plus rechargeable power battery. Amazing. So that definitely be nice to be having in a crib 
for when no one comes over <laughs> this is a uh, chain lighter is also really nice uh chain zippo with diamond embossed logo and rubble uh, 20 inch chain i think that's going to do probably some numbers even some myself doesn't smoke this toolbox is absolutely banging i'm definitely going to get this when this drops for sure and the tamagotchi is going to do bits when this end up end up dropping and of course finally these repeat leather belts i'm a sucker for this i really am i shouldn't be but i'm a sucker for this like i want this red belt so bad with this like just red supreme just written like that it looks absolutely gorgeous to me i know probably to most people they're gonna look at something it's just fucking ugly but this belt just done that way it looks brilliant to me in that regard maybe the neo made the black but that red colorway straight away i know it's probably gonna get banged up and look horrible after time but i'm you know i want this so badly those belts so yeah loads of great stuff for supreme as per usual they always do great and amazing things and definitely one of my favorite brands out there so if you have purchased anything for supreme 2023 spring let me know in the comments down below i'll be eager to hear your opinions